a serious issue amongst brothers and sisters. Okay, and sisters is really important because uh, this is now something which sisters are watching. Okay, and sis, you know, pornography now is a is bigger than Hollywood and it's bigger than Bollywood and it's bigger than all these other woods, right? Pornography is 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 huge, subhanallah. Okay, and brothers are watching it, of course, and sisters are also watching it. Okay, and the issue used to be that, or there used to be barriers, okay, that you couldn't watch it in a specific place, whatever. But with the advent of the smartphone, you will get it, um, and it's in your. It's it's more accessible than ever. Pornography and watching haram and these types of things is more accessible than it ever ever has been. Okay, and so. Brothers and sisters, the first thing that I want to say is that if you're somebody who falls into this, never ever give up Tawbah, okay? This is one thing, you know, Shaitan, he comes to us and if we fall into a sin once, then we uh, we make Tawbah, then we fall into the sin again. Then Shaitan begins to come to us and says, you know, you're a hypocrite, you did it once and then you ask for forgiveness, da 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 So that's my first advice is if you do fall into it, okay? Before we talk about it actually, but if you do and if you are and if you have fallen into it, do not give up on Tawbah. Keep turning back to Allah, keep making Tawbah, keep asking Allah to forgive you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like a man, okay? This is again knowing Allah, this is why we study Aqeedah, this is why we study Tawheed, this is why we talk about the names of Allah. Allah is not like a man, okay? If you, uh, if you, uh, say something to me or if you take my right or if you anger me the first time and then you apologize and you say you know what please forgive me i'm gonna forgive you the second time you do it i'm gonna say listen what's wrong with you you've already done it the first time but look you know what okay i'm gonna let you off but this is the second time don't do it again don't do it for the third time the third time you do it me and you're gonna fall out because i'm gonna say listen you're crazy I've told you twice before, I've given you two warnings not to approach it, not to do it, don't do it, and yet you're still doing it. And khalas, that's it. So in other words, my and the forgiveness of man has a limit. And the forgiveness of man is limited. Okay? And he's going to forgive you the first, the second, maybe the third time. After that, he's going to what's wrong with you? Allah wa ta'ala is not like that. Allah will keep forgiving you as long as, number one, you stop the sin. You can't have uh, pornography on and then you're trying to make tawbah. No, you've got to stop the sin. Number two, you've got to really regret it. Okay? Ikhwani fillah, genuine regret. Genuine regret means you're going to try to close the barriers. You're going to try and close the doors. Genuine regret means, you know what? I know that when I'm alone and I at this time in my bed, I'm going to be watching, I fall into watching pornography. Genuine regret means, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave my phone downstairs. I'm not going to take my phone up with me when I'm alone. I'm going to do things to try and stop it. And I'm going to feel bad in my heart. And then the third thing is I'm going to ask Allah to forgive me. And if, if I f fulfill these things, Allah will definitely forgive me. If I stop it and I feel regret and I make a firm intention not to do it again, and then I ask Allah to forgive me, then Allah will forgive me. Even if I keep doing it, even if I if I made tawbah right now and I and I asked Allah to forgive me and I was regretful, etc. And I fulfilled those conditions. And then five minutes later, I go back to watching it. I'm not saying that's a good thing. OK, I'm not saying that's OK to do because it shows you that, you know what? You don't actually appreciate the weight of what you're doing. But I can go back and keep asking Allah to forgive. But don't forget the man who killed a hundred people and yet Allah still forgave him. Okay, so that's the issue with regards to pornography. Tawbah, number one, brothers and sisters. Number two, you need to know what pornography does to you. Pornography is addictive. Pornography is like cocaine and heroin. It gives you a massive dopamine rush. Pornography, the first time that you watch it, is going gonna, is gonna to make you, is going to electrify you. But then the second time that you watch it, the dopamine rush is going to be slightly less than the first time. And if you keep watching it and you keep watching it and you keep watching it, do you know what's going to happen? 
the dopamine rush gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller so you actually begin to enjoy it less and less and less and as the dopamine rush goes down do you know what happens your uh, desire for more and more hardcore pornography goes up so as the dopamine rush comes down you are looking for the next big fix and so you're going to worse and worse and worse types of pornography and this is why pedophiles rapists these sexual offenders you find that one of the uh, common characteristics amongst them is that they were uh, serial watchers of pornography okay that's the that's the second thing that you need to know what that does to you the third thing you need to understand what that does to your mind you're then not going to see a woman you're not going to see your uh, a woman as a woman you're going to see her as a piece of flesh you're going to see her as uh, you know what yeah i can you know i just want to go and have sex with her or i want to go and fulfill my desires that's the next thing the the next thing after that is that if you're married then you're not going to be able to have sex with your wife or you're not going to want to have sex with your wife why because when you're watching this pornography the stuff that you're seeing your wife can't achieve that these are uh, men and women who are their entire life revolves around being in good shape and the stuff that they do and so your wife or your husband coming home from work etc you're not going to be able to at attain the things that you're doing and then there's things like for example uh, uh, uh crazy stuff where the men then begin to ask their wives to do crazy stuff in order to try to replicate what they have seen uh, on in the pornography degrading your wife degrading your wife hatta you find they want to have uh, they want to have group sex with random men and you know think about the think about the the level of a man that he must descend to that it it, it turns him on and it gets him off that he want he sees his wife with another man but that's what it gets to that's what pornography does to you it rewires your brain the next thing is that you're not going to find your wife attractive and likewise sisters your brother your your husband is not going to be enough for you and it leads to uh, it leads to promiscuity it leads to zina it leads to these types of things it leads to a very promiscuous type of person and it leads to promiscuous women sisters don't think that this only applies to men it leads to promiscuous women women who are extremely sexualized and they feel no shyness or no shame and it's open in this regard and unfortunately some of our so called practicing sisters and our so called practicing brothers we have this disease within us okay and so this uh, pornography is a massive issue and this is something that you know there's no point clo closing our eyes and pretending it doesn't exist or trying to you know throw it under the carpet brush it and under the carpet there's no point doing that the affair is much 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 bigger than that we have to start uh, talking about it and if you have a porn uh, a porn addiction chances are you're going to be masturbating right and then brothers masturbating it leads to premature ejaculation it leads to this issue and that issue and and you know i get brothers messaging me brother you know i can't have sex with my wife i last you know i just i come after 20 seconds and 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 the poor sister is messaging me you know not his wife but another sister's messaging me my husband just cannot fulfill me sexually he has this problem and that problem and this problem and that problem and so much of it stems from watching pornography and so uh brothers and sisters we have to deal with this issue because this issue is an issue that we have to deal with uh in a in an adult way in a mature way and if you've got problems go and see somebody about it just the same way if you had a drugs related problem you'd go and see somebody about your addiction uh, uh there are uh, counselors and people who we can speak to for pornography addiction so if you have that problem listen get it sorted before it gets more and more extreme and then you know it starts going into child pornography a'udhu billah